Welcome to SimTour Project Episode 9, a series where I'm featuring the sim racing setups of my viewers and hoping to give you all inspiration regarding all this hobby has to offer. Before we get started, note that I'm giving away a Moza Racing CS wheel rim to a lucky winner anywhere in the world. Simply click the link at the top of the bio, follow the easy instructions, and a winner will be contacted through email at the end of August. Many more giveaways are on the way, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. Also, press the like button as it massively helps with the algorithm, and without further ado, do, let's get into it. And starting off strong, we have Tobias. He's a 19-year-old student from Germany, and it has taken him around one year and an estimated $4,500 to get everything to where it is today. At first, I thought Tobias was using some dedicated sim racing cockpit, but he's actually using the GT Omega Apex wheel stand with a rear seat frame holding his DX Racer Formula gaming chair. This could be a cheaper alternative to a full frame cockpit, though I wonder how it deals with all of Tobias' demanding gear. Talking about his gear, that would be the 8nm Fenetech CSL DD paired with a very popular McLaren GT3 V2 rim. Down below, he's rocking the Houston Belt Sprint pedals, which look very nice in front of his white brick wallpaper. Back up top, his monitor of choice is the Samsung Odyssey G5, which is a 34-inch, 144Hz gaming display. More interesting though is how he went about mounting it. To achieve that floating effect, he uses a generic monitor arm he found off Amazon and hooked it up to his desk on the right. This is a genius solution to a problem all sim racers eventually face. As for everything else around his setup, he's got a full-fledged PC gaming setup on the desk on his right, a TV up top, his bed on the left, and sound dampening on his wall for his Twitch streams. Honestly, a dream setup for any teenager. The only thing left to talk about is his PC, which I believe powers both his sim rig as well as his main gaming setup. His PC houses an EVGA GTX 1070, an Intel i7 10700K, and 32GB of HyperX Fury RAM, all housed in the Be Quiet Silent Base 802 case. Overall, I'm a huge fan of the entire look and feel of this setup. Thank you Tobias for submitting. And up next with a compact and sleek single monitor setup, we have Gis Lane. He's a 15-year-old student from Switzerland and it has taken him around one year to put everything together. Starting off with his cockpit, it's actually a completely DIY build made from aluminum profile parts he purchased separately. This is yet another way to potentially save some money on your chassis, albeit you'll need to put in some sweat and probably some tears into it. Paired with his chassis, he's got an equally cool seat being the Sparco Evo 1, which looks sick but seems to be missing an OC racing sticker on the back. Just Lane's gear of choice is the Fanatec CSL DD paired with the optional boost kit. Again, the popular McLaren GT3 rim is seen, but considering it's one of the cheapest this rims offered by Fanatec, that's not very unusual. Down below, he continues the Fanatec ecosystem with the standard CSL pedals. Back up top, he's using a standard non-gaming monitor, which similar to the previous submission is also being held up by a generic monitor arm, this time hooked up to the back of his wheelbase. To my surprise, everything in this setup is being powered by an Xbox Series X, making this one of the most insane console sim racing setups I've ever seen. However, I would definitely focus on making the jump to PC due to the near endless opportunities it'll open up. Now that's all regards to the sim rig, but Just Lane also has a bunch of cool motorsport themed stuff around his room which further gives it a unique look and feel. Overall, a very nice and impressive console setup, thank you for submitting. And next up we have Ruben, a 28 year old warehouse operator from Portugal who has spent 5 years and around 2750 euros to put everything together. Unlike the previous two, Ruben opted with Thrustmaster hardware as he rocks the T300RS wheelbase paired with the 599XX Evo Alcantara rim and down below he continues with the popular TLCM load cell pedals. Due to the high price of the Thrustmaster TH8A though, he opted for the Logitech G25 shifter, which he modified with a metallic knob. 
Moreover, he DIY'd his Logitech brake pedal to serve as a handbrake. Now then, holding everything up, he's using the Albulo Ozone chassis, which I've never heard of before, but appears to do the job well. The seat seems to be a little worn, but other than that, his chassis holds everything up, including his two displays, which are a 34 inch 144Hz LG gaming monitor with a smaller 21.5 inch LG monitor up top. Powering all of this is his custom built PC featuring a Zotac RTX 2070, an AMD Ryzen 5 3600, and 16GB of RAM all housed in a Sharkoon RGB Flow case. Apart from just your unique and quirky setup, I also love the overall cozy feel of your room. Thank you Ruben for submitting. And next up, with a prime example of a budget simracing setup done right, we have Noah, a 16-year-old student who was born in Germany but is currently residing in Botswana. Noah is rocking the popular Logitech G920 with the Acelith Formula wheel rim mod which I must admit looks quite cool. The G920's integrated table clamps are also used to hook up the wheel onto the Arosi Arena gaming desk which you can also use for general PC gaming. Down below, he's also using the Loadsaw Thrustmaster TLCM pedals, which he places against a wall to prevent from flying into orbit. As per his chair, Noah is using a generic gaming chair, which he has no idea who it's from or where it came from. Very interesting. Anyway, before I forget, his monitor is the 144Hz Tough Gaming VG27BQ, which he simply places on top of his desk with a Rode Protester mic to his right. Finally, powering all of this, he's rocking a custom-built PC with an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070 Ti, Intel i7-7700, and 16GB of DDR4 RAM. Overall, Noah's rig shows us how functional and good looking even a sim racing setup without a dedicated cockpit or wheel stand can be. Thank you Noah for sharing. And ending off the episode with an absolute banger, we have Juan, a 60 year old executive from the United States who has been consistently making upgrades over the last 5 years, but tells his wife he has only spent around $3,000. There's a lot to cover here, so let's start with this cockpit. That would be the RC S1 with the optional keyboard tray, shifter and handbrake mount, bunny box holder, and integrated speaker mount. To sit, he's got an aggressive red bucket seat that came with the RSC chassis. His wheelbase of choice is the powerful Fanatec DD1 paired with both the Porsche Podium and Podium F1 rim. These are arguably Fanatec's best looking wheel rims. Down below we see yet another example of the Houston Belt Sprint pedals, this time with the clutch pedal included. Back up top there's still lots to go over including the Thrustmaster TH8A shifter, Houston Belt handbrake, Yamaha 725 watt receiver hooked up to 5.1 speakers, a pristine Apex racing body box with an Android tablet showing telemetry information up top, and of course an Elgato stream deck. Honestly, how you managed to hook up all of this gear to a non extrusion chassis is beyond me, but well done to you regardless. As for his quad monitor setup, it's composed of triple 27 inch Acer gaming displays with a leftover 6 hertz display on top because why not. Powering all of this gear is a water cooled PC with an RTX 2070 Super, Intel Core i7 4790, and 32GB of RAM. And if all of that wasn't enough, you already know Juan has another setup for his flight sim needs. And talking about everything else he's got, he seems to have quite the man cave going on with a pool table, gumball machine, Pac-Man arcade, and a bunch of other car and motorsport themed things lying around. This is an absolutely crazy man cave with an even cooler sim racing setup. Congratulations Juan and thank you for submitting. And that wraps up SimTour Project Episode 9. As always, let me know which setup was your favorite down below and if you enjoyed and want to see more, press the like button and subscribe as it helps the channel grow. Remember to enter the giveaway for a chance to win a Moza Racing CS wheel rim and as always, thank you all for watching, stay safe and have a fantastic rest of your day.